Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a DIY, a spring DIY, that is 100% Pinterest inspired. I don't typically go on to Pinterest to get inspiration or to get ideas to bring to you guys, but there are times when I am on there and I'm just kind of looking around and I see something that I really like that I want to recreate myself and this is one of those DIYs that I just saw, I loved it and thought, oh my goodness, this is so stinking cute. I have to do this and I'm gonna bring it to you all as well, putting my own Dollar Tree farmhouse twist on it using some twine. So let's not waste any more time. Let me show you how stinking cute this DIY is. And like I said, you can do it using just about all Dollar Tree items. This week in Allie's Attic, she is introducing you to her furry little friends, so make sure you head on over to her channel. Link is in the description box below. For this DIY, I will be using this galvanized tin with the twine at the top that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I'll also be using Waverly's chalk paint in the color of ivory to paint it. Somehow the footage of me painting this got either deleted or I mistakenly never pressed record. It happens. It's a bummer when it happens. I am so sorry about that. I've put a good couple of coats on this tin with the Waverly chalk paint. Now it's time to put a couple of these googly eyes on it that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And to apply them, I'm just going to use hot glue. You can really use any glue you like. It's just going to take a bit longer for them to dry. For this next part of the project, I will be using these oil pastels by Artist Loft. These are an oil pastel that you can get at Michael's. I picked up this 48 piece set for $5. These come in handy so often, especially around the holidays because oil pastels are amazing to work with. They are a great alternative to paint. And if you don't have oil pastels on hand, a great and perfect alternative to this is to use an apple barrel acrylic paint in the color of light pink. To apply the oil pastels, I'll be using this paintbrush that has pretty stiff bristles on it because that's what I need to achieve the look that I'm looking to achieve. I just love the look that an oil pastel puts off when you use it. It's a very soft, clouded look, and that's a bit of a hard look to achieve when using paints. I'm no artist, so when trying to achieve this look using an acrylic paint, I find it to be a little bit difficult. And these are what is gonna be the rosy cheeks for this stinking cute farmhouse bunny. You can see that there is a bit of a difference in the look when using oil pastels versus paint. For the nose for this bunny, I will be using this wood bead that you can get from the Dollar Tree, and I will be painting it with Apple Barrel's acrylic paint in the color of Cameo Pink. And just a quick easy tip, if you've got some pipe cleaner on hand, if you put it through the hole of the bead, it makes it super easy to paint your bead. Once your bead is good and dry, put a dot of hot glue on the side of the bead, but you still want the holes of the bead to be accessible on each side. For this DIY, I will be using some of the stiffened burlap, the strings. If you haven't seen my tutorial on how to stiffen burlap for under a dollar using Dollar Tree items, I will link that video in the description box below. I'm gonna unravel just a couple of strings from my sheet of burlap. Then I'm gonna fold and cut it to the size that I want my bunny's whiskers to be. Then just feed the string through the hole of the bead, which is the bunny's nose. You're gonna wanna make sure and to secure your strings into the bead by just placing a dab of hot glue right inside the hole of that bead. Using a felt pen, this felt pen has a fine tip on it. I'm gonna give my bunny a couple of freckles in the rosy part of its cheeks. Oh my word, this is so stinking cute. 
I figured I'd also add a line right below the nose for its mouth. This bunny needs ears, so of course I've made a template out of cardstock. Remember, if you're not comfortable freehanding, do a Google image search, find some ears, print them out, cut them out, you've got yourself a template. If you've got a Cricut, you could always cut some out and make yourself a template that way as well. It's a lot easier to make a template if you fold the paper in half and just draw one side of the ear. That way you don't have to worry about making your ear even. You can just worry about the one side and when you fold it in half and you cut it, it comes out perfect. For the bunny's ears, I'll be using this beige and cream felt along with burlap. Again, if you fold your felt or whatever material it is that you are making your ears out of, it makes it a lot easier. I'm not going to use a pencil to trace these ears because I don't want the marks of the lead on my felt because these ears will be seen from both sides. So I'm just going to place my template on my felt and cut along the template. I'm gonna do the same with my burlap using my felt as a template. I'm doing the felt along with the burlap because I didn't want the burlap to be see-through and I wanted to give the ears just a bit more thickness than just what the burlap is. I'm gonna hot glue the burlap and the felt together. And if you happen to have any extra felt that's hanging out around the outside of your burlap, now would be the perfect time to give that a trim so you've got some nice clean edges. For the inside of the bunny's ears, I'll be using this pink wired burlap ribbon that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I cut about a six inch piece and I'm gonna fold it in half. Then I'm gonna fold it in half again. And I'm just gonna freehand cut an oval to go on the inside of my burlap ears. By folding the ribbon this way, it gives you two matching pieces. Then just hot glue them in the center of the burlap ear. If you take your ears on the bottom edge and just kind of fold them over, give them a crease and put some hot glue in there, it gives the ears a nice curved look. We're just gonna hot glue these ears to the top of the pot. Because I have so much of this pink wired burlap ribbon left, I figured I'd finish this bunny off with a bow because every Easter bunny needs a bow. I'm gonna hot glue this to the top of the pot where the ears are just to kind of hide where I glued the ears on a bit. How stinking cute is this bunny? Now you see why I had to recreate this putting my own farmhouse rustic twist on it using the burlap and twine. I thought this was such a fun, easy DIY and the outcome is stinking adorable. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.